Shots fired, shots fired, yeah. man down now, sire. Yeah. I've been really lugging with some demons. I've been really swerving on some devils. Uh. I've been really posted on them blocks. They ain't like they forgot, they ain't like they ain't seen it. Uh. From them bacon shit just like a needle. Uh. This shit going down like a lid. It's your boy right here, man, Prince of Pain. Another week of pop radio worldwide. iHeartRadio, Spotify, premium. Everybody make some more. <laughs> Finally got this motherfucker started. I'm a, I'm a little day late. Now I was short, but I'm in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got, we got. The uh, camera person got pulled over. Uh, you know, we got people getting off work late. And it is what it is, but we here to give you a wonderful, uh, wonderful, legendary show, man. I, I got not only beautiful baddies of the week every week, like I promise y'all, but I also got. Uh, Big leader on the building, man. Make some more for everyone. Woo! Woo! Y'all just finished uh, listening to the uh, sounds of Lido that was uh, Shots 5. Y'all uh, present that joint, man. We just uh, played. I just played Lido. The Shots 5. Shots 5. Featuring. featuring Lil Zay. Yeah, Lil Zay. Uh, hit no bell. A a a ain't no stranger to pop radio, man. He came through uh, about. What, seven, eight months ago and blessed us. He was uh, presenting his Forever Legend brand. And we briefly were censored. I mean, completely censored. You know, we couldn't really, you know, get loose and really, uh, you know, I'm uncensored now, so we gonna get in it today. We gonna give y'all a quality interview about Hypno Carlito, the life of Hypno Carlito, what Hypno Carlito got coming up, uh, and all that good stuff. So make some noise for that. Woo! Woo! Uh, make some noise for the baddies of the week. Oh, yeah. We got models, we got dancers, baddies of the week. We got the beautiful <laughs> co host, Jen Guana, that came up. Hey, I gotta watch that. He brings us my But I can't see all the but I can't see the culichi over there. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, so we got Jen in the building. We got, hold on, let me let me say some names real quick. Name drop real quick. So all the way from the very end, we got Exotic over there. Follow her at Exotic. You know what I mean? I'm just lying. That's Reggie, but I changed her name to Exotic. You hear me? Uh, Cleopatra, with, uh, Cleopatra with six underscores on IG, correct? Yeah. Baby, make some noise and say what's up real quick to the people of Pop Radio Worldwide. Hello, y'all. Pop Radio Worldwide. <laughs> All the way, we got ocean all the way from oceans. Make some noise Woo! for oceans in the building. Talk about ocean, man. Salute to oceans in general for my birthday party this weekend. Thank you for your You hear me? Everything was lit. Salute to Debbie. Salute to DJ Ferris. Salute super to uh, the super gang that came in and, and, and popped out with your boy Pop, man. Uh, uh, Jen, check in real quick. Tell them you in the building, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Mi gente, que it's your girl right here. Checking in on Wrecking Wednesdays. Let's do it. Let's do Make it. Some, make some noise, man. <laughs> Jen, introduce your, uh, your lovely buddy, uh model, plus size model of the week you got for us this week. So we got Sapphire, also known as Rebel. I love the hair. I love the hair. She rocking. Make some noise. Watching. Make some noise real quick for uh, uh, the Rebel right here. Go ahead, Mama. You can, you can step in and say hello to everyone. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Thank you for having me. That's what's up. Oh, That's what's up. Make, oh, some oh, noise. Oh. Make some noise for the blue, for the two blue. Woo, woo. And right here, man, to my, at my my throne chair over here, we got the lovely Jasmine. Say what's up, Mama. What's up, guys? Mm. Make some noise for y'all. With the red shoes, on. Yeah. And over here, I got Brooke, man. Say what's up, Brooke. What's up? How y'all doing? So I'm definitely make some noise for Brooke too one time, y'all. Yeah. Woo! That's all the models in the world. So, uh, Jen, make some noise. We definitely going to give y'all a couple segments, man. We're going to give you a topic of the week. We're going to give you bad news of the week. We're going to give you the Hypno Carlito story, you know? So, first things first, pay bills, motherfucker. So, I got to pay my bills, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the Real House Doctors of Chicago that support me in every which way possible. 
Can you leave your, your, your house worked on, your company worked on, whatever, hit up. Look, they got a Facebook page. If not, hit up uh, uh, the Pop Radio page. You'll find them Red Janelle Will Cologne. Make sure you shop with the Real House Doctors in Chicago. Also, uh, make sure, you know, you're in tune with Chicago Elite Alliance and everything we're doing. Uh, also, street level Youth Media, man. I'm always going to drop them. always going to call them a sponsor. They got after school programs for the kids. Get them tuned. They teach every, the kids everything about uh, music, photography. You need a little help, single parents. Send your kids to street level. You get up with Duke. Get up with Lisa. So let's make some noise for all my wonderful sponsors. You know what I'm saying? Make some noise for iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium. Yeah, my great job, boy. You know? So... Real quick, we're going to take a quick, 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 quick little music break. And when, quick, I, quick. when I come back from the little music break, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get right to Hypno Carlito. Shots fired, y'all. Shots fired, shots fired. Five legends, shit. Uh. Shots fired, shots fired. Man down now, sire. Uh. I've been really liking with some demons. I've been really swearing on some devils. I've been really posted on them blocks. They like they forgot they ain't like they ain't seen it. Fun them baking shit just like a needle. This shit going down like a lip. Back it up, sell it as quick as you can and then go get another load. I didn't see shit that didn't happen to niggas and boy don't nobody know. Straight from the trenches, we came up for nothing. My neck like a pot of gold. What's up, gang? What's up, man? Uh, so, uh, since the last time. You know, you spoke to people that rock with pop uh, about your brand. Yeah. Uh, things have also uh, taken place. And you got projects dropping. You got concerts in the area happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna start off by, uh, you know, first things first. What, Karma? Look, Karma, that shit dropped 11.25, November 25th. Make some noise, y'all, man. Yeah. Karma, what's up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, uh... <laughs> You also got, uh, so you also got, you're having a, a, a release party for it, I understand. Yeah, at the Fords, uh, December 1st. December 1st. Uh, you want to talk to us about that. Not me, you talk to me, or you know, you want to tell us a little bit of info, like uh, some of your celebrity guests, man, from what I understand, what Pop knows firsthand is, yeah. you put your heart into it, man, and you ain't got no raggedy ass regular promoter selling a thousand slots and have you a thousand you know openers and mm -hmm. you got celebrities coming to open up for the Hypno Carlito uh, uh, Good Karma Project am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. Uh, who are them special guests bro we got that night? Uh, Twister. Make some noise yo. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie. 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 Four. 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 Shana, 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 So that's, that's, you know, that's super lit. What made you, you know, because you're an artist, you know what I'm saying? You're not no promoter, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So what made you put the showcase together like that, man, and, you know, do something like that? See, I was dropping the projects, so I'm like, fuck it, motherfucking, um, I ain't did no shows all year, like, I ain't really gonna do no shows, so. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna throw my own shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what made you go get, I mean, what, what made you, uh, you know, like put Shana and all them on that tag is what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know. You know, they just cool. I fuck with them. And she is. But another person won't do that, though. You know, it's all about me. You know what I'm saying? And they wouldn't yeah. even go get Twister, especially album release. So yeah. that's that's really dope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's really mm -hmm. dope. Yeah. Big up for that, man. Big up. So, uh, Twister for Sean or all of them even, you know, mm -hmm. wanting to get down uh, on uh, December 1st, Sunday. All Everybody who ain't in tune, yes, December 1st. All ages. All, all ages, ages at the Forge from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at Joliet. Tickets are on Eventbrite, yeah. right? Yeah. Eventbrite. Uh, it's super lit, man. You got the Hypno Carlito dropping his uh, Good Karma project. You got a uh, twist in the building. You got four in the building. You got Sean in the building. And uh, Little Zay Osama and Do or Die. So, yes, mm -hmm. that's super lit. You do not want to miss it. Good Karma. Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. Uh, features on the project. Uh, and and, uh, and then I'm going to go right to the name because that's what I can't skip. Yeah. Features on the project, Hypno. Uh, dirt. No Dirt. Mozzie. 
Who am I? YBN. YBN Almighty J. Nice. Uh, Twister. Okay. And uh, this this dude from Italy. Boro, Boro from Italy. He oh, he met, he met, he met, he met. He met. He's another uh, man I could never say that other Italian guy and stuff. Uh, Safeta. Safeta, yeah, he's mm -hmm. another Safeta. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fetter. And he's younger too, right? Yeah. Yes, man, salute him. You've been working a long time. I personally, uh, you know, I know your work, you know, your family, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, let's talk about some of that. You know, before we get, oh, no, 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 good karma name. So before I be skipping, because you're not going to lost that sauce too. <laughs> so, uh, man, bro, number one, uh, if a lot more people just thought about that title and lived it as a kind of live a little lifestyle and they program, just try to give good mm -hmm. karma back. So the name of the project is called Good Karma. I thought that was a dope name. I think it's a good place to be in anybody's life to just want to give back. Because uh, I keep telling people it's about what you feed into the universe and it's going to feed it right back. So Good Karma is a great uh, name. I think it's amazing. Appreciate it. Where'd you get it? Shit, um, it was a conversation. <clears throat> I was having a conversation in LA, LA and I was talking to a motherfucker. And, um, I forgot how that shit came about, but I just said it. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm gonna get good karma. And you was probably already three, four songs into the project, maybe? Mm, I was working on shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because okay. a lot of shit didn't make the project. So. Okay. Hey, yeah, man. It just come from, just, you know, just like you said, you know, putting out that good energy and getting that shit back. Facts, yeah. facts. Uh, we all know it's, well, no, we don't. But it's levels to this shit, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And you're in a whole nother level of uh, your career, you know. Uh, let's talk real quick. Uh, I think I could, I could take people through a little, you know what I'm saying, yeah. understanding. So you had an OTF situation, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some people got all these questions because, you know, we know, you know, we... So, we gonna clear some things up. Yeah. So a lot of people think you and Dirk ain't cool no more, y'all fell out, and you ain't OTF no more. Yeah. You wanna elaborate on that a little bit? You and Dirk still cool? Yeah, man. Huh? That's my brother. That's your brother, right? Yeah. Man. Um, and that'll probably forever be your brother, ain't it? Yeah, I talk to his ass every day. And it's obvious, wait a minute, you just said Dirk is on your next project that's dropping yeah. now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, how long did, were you with OTF? Like four years. Four years? Yeah. And um, during them four years, uh, after the four years, what, what made you, uh, we talked a little bit about it last time, what made you say, uh, I don't want that situation no more, and what brought you to the forever legend now, you know? And where do you go, even explain right after, where do you go now, what is your vision now for the brand to do now? Yeah, like, we was both growing, you know what I'm saying? Like. We, we really like brothers, we ain't like artists and boss type shit, you feel me? So yes, sir. <clears throat> when he signed me, he didn't even have an album out, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, we grew together, so it was one of them situations where I was like, I right, I gotta take my shit serious because even though he bro, it's like, he the, he the light right now, you feel me? So I gotta do my own thing in order to move forward, you feel me? So, it was one of them situations where it's like, damn, I just want to do my own thing. Man, he, he understood, though. We ain't getting to it about that shit. We talk every day, they call me every fucking day. So, man, <laughs> that's, 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 that's established. You know your dirty drawers, and you know that nigga dirty drawers. Okay. So, so working with... Love, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm take the people, you know, so, okay, Hypno Carlito is... A Chicago, I'm not even gonna say uh, Humble Park, I'm not gonna say 63rd, I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say Hypno Cardi was a Chicago artist, cause Hypno Cardi could be all over the city. He grew up all over, you know, so I can't even say, I'm not gonna, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna start that. Mm -hmm. But Hypno Cardi was a Chicago artist. Um, wrote so, a song, from what I understand, Hypno, uh, or, or wrote for Spike Lee, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you've worked with people like French Montana. Mm -hmm. um, you've, uh, Work on projects, uh, projects with Nick Cannon, right? Mm -hmm. Um, is this gonna be this ain't even your first? Is this your first, uh, own concert? Right? No, no, right? There isn't, no, no. This, this is the first one I did, like by yourself, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don
You got any announcement for kids right now you want to make about the, you want to make an awareness right now quick? Uh, I know if, if people got kids or anything you want to say about that, about the kids of the good, uh, good uh, Karma concert? I mean, shit. Because I was saying something earlier. I know you said something to me this morning. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to get as many kids there, right? So yeah. if we got people listening and they want the, you know, uh, they, they, they want tickets for their kids. Yeah. Who they hit up, bro, bro? Uh, so they can get to the concert. Scott, Scott Summers. Scott Summers on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, hit them up. You want to get your kids there. Hit them uh, Forever Legend. Go and bless them and get them there. Give them some tickets to get there. Uh, yeah, that's what it is, man. Hypno do got a nice message, man, coming up. Uh, uh, what's beautiful, man, to watch Hypno do is work with all the younger artists. And all the younger artists look up to him, and he ain't even that old, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he's at another level of his career. I congratulate you, bro. I really have yeah. seen the level of growth. I've seen you come from shit, the little Florida's or whatnot, to going overseas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Italy's. And, uh, uh, let's take you back to from the trenches that we're talking about to doing all that. You um, lost your mom early, didn't you? No. In the game before, uh, and you talk about it in some of your music, right? Yeah, yeah. I was a shorty. Like you were a shorty, right? You want to say real quick so they can know maybe a little bit about that story? I don't know. See, I was, I was like five, shorty. Motherfucking, uh, that's just how shit go. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's life. Huh? So you lost your mom when you were five, and okay. Uh, and I'm sorry about that, but you know, I, I, I told you the other day we were on the same topic, and I was like, bro, that's something I can't relate to because I got mommy. Well, you can share mommy with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mommy love you too. But I can't even pretend to say I can understand because I never lost my mama, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, the reason I bring it up is not to make anybody teary. It's, it's to uh, ask you, bro, is that maybe some of... Uh, your biggest influences to stick and do this, you know, music stuff and I mean like it man, I done been through so much that it's like when you I'm a numb motherfucker. You feel me? So it's like I a lot of shit don't bother me. Shit bother me when I'm by myself. So <clears throat> a lot of shit is an influence and motivation to push for. You feel me? Because it's a lot more shit than just my mom, you gotta understand, like, if I was, let's say, your age, and I lost mom, it's like way more serious. When I'm five, it's like, I know who my mama is, but it ain't like growing up with your mom, living every day to day with your mom, 10, 20, 30 years with your mom. It's more hurtful at that age versus five. At five, you gotta understand, when that shit happened, I ain't even know what the fuck was going on. I ain't even realize like this death. But I personally yeah. think, bro, well, that you probably suffer stuff because you didn't have your own. Oh mama yeah, super fun. That I could, you know what I'm saying. So it's a different kind of pain, bro. Yeah. You know, I, I can't understand, like I said. Oh yeah, super fun. But I want to say that I think maybe, well, I know for sure your mom be proud of you right now, you oh, know, yeah, to, without a doubt, you know what I'm saying? Just like you got mamas alive right now that already maybe love you mm -hmm. like nephew or mama or, 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 or big sis that are already proud of you, you know, mm -hmm. your accomplishments. So, uh, I would like to say maybe, you know, maybe that's, you know, maybe some of your inspiration that comes, you uh, know. A lot of that shit come from that. I was just saying that it's just so much more to it, you know what I'm saying, to life. Like, they, they give me the motivation, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a piece of it, you feel me, so. But I ain't saying they don't mean shit. That shit, you know what I'm saying, that shit motherfuckers think about all the time, but at the same time, it's like, what I meant to say was, at your age right now, versus my age, it was different. So, at five, when a motherfucker say, I, you know, your, your mama, excuse me, my bad brother. At five, when a motherfucker say, I, like, your mama gone, it don't hit you like, if I was motherfucking at 25. You I understand. I'd probably be so broke down like if I was five it. years old, though. No, you know what I I'm would. saying? No, I'm saying at yeah, my yeah. age, I'd probably break down <laughs> like if I was five years mm -hmm. old. You know what I'm saying? But uh, salute to you, man, for yeah. making it through all the stuff you have been through. And again, you've been rapping since you was young. Yeah. Uh, you caught situations when you was young yeah. uh, that probably made you mature to all this stuff. 
Uh, is there a reason, if no, you want to explain that now? Because you're from Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm a person on Facebook or at an open mic, right, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing a little music, SoundCloud, whatnot, yeah. uh, and I, uh, you know, you've already done all the local stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, what message, man, you got for these newcomers uh, that's just getting into this stuff? The local, everybody. I was talking to a nigga earlier, um, and what I was telling him, because he on the local scene, uh -huh. and I'm like, niggas only be local because they make they self local. You don't have to be local. It's shit that you can do right now that uh, wow every motherfucker in this room. It don't matter who you is. That's like pop. Pop will go bust move right now, host a motherfucking BT award. <laughs> yeah. Everybody looking at him like a star. Now he a star. It's that. It's that fast. So niggas run around doing the same shit, and I'm like, bro, you doing a whole bunch of goofy shit. <laughs> everything. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> and then, yeah. It's the way perception is everything. So it was times I was up, times I was down, after major deals, all type of shit. But my perception always stayed high. So <clears throat> that's how I always ate. Don't nobody want to get no money to a broke motherfucker. True. So it was it was one of them situations where it's like everything I do gonna be major. Every project I drop I'm gonna have major features. Major this, major that. Well I ain't dropping. Fuck it. This shit gotta compete. You're not gonna you water come your with brand. The of the heart. Yeah. You're not gonna water your brand up. Yeah, niggas not competing no more. Niggas not gonna you gotta come in hard. Everybody wanna be a YouTube sensation. That shit don't work for everybody. <laughs> yeah. You tell me, you tell me. That's fine. Uh, I am going to ask you something about just the same. Ask some stuff, though, Jenny. Uh, you got a question for me? Yeah, um, i seen that you've done a lot of features with a lot of different celebrities and artists. Is there anyone you want to do a feature with that you haven't yet? Yeah, yeah, a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, name, name, name a couple, give me a couple. <coughs> that you would, who's your top that you would want to do a feature with right now if you had the chance to? Dope, mm. dope. I want to hear this. <coughs> I want to hear it, you know? Man, I don't even know. <laughs> Drake. Drake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, you know what? Yeah. A lot of people say Drake, bro. I mean, that, I mean, I guess it makes. Uh, even if you like him or didn't really like him, I guess that make a lot of sense. Yeah. Don't it to mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Anything he touch, that shit goes. <laughs> to the moon, no. Uh, to the moon. Take me to the moon, baby. Like, <laughs> like, like a future. Like a future or something. Future, yeah, right? You do, you, do, you do something with a future or something like that. That shit gone to the moon or, yeah. or some shit like that. No, I'm just talking to future. Yeah. I'm trying to finesse one of his ass. Yeah. No, uh, nah. tell the story, man. A lot of people won't believe it. I think he should. So, your favorite artist as a kid growing up, right? Mm -hmm. Who was it? Oh, man. It all kind of makes sense, though. I mean, you can never critique nobody for who they nah, like. Nah, right. they yeah. like. Yeah. You know, I can like rock of this. Nah, I don't get from nobody. Say it's just funny now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. And that's what that's what's the humorous shit about yeah. it. You know? No, oh, Lil Bow Wow. Lil Bow Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. I know Lil yeah. Bow Wow. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's funny if nothing about I think mean, Bow Wow funny now. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But ain't nothing for Bow man, Bow Wow was one of he the was richest kids of his generation. Bow Wow fucked his money up being an adult. You know what I'm saying? He fucked his shit up with this an adult. Bow Wow was a shit. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, Everybody yes. wanted to be like that. I was going braid, trying to get hazel contact. You used to do a dance, you used to home shake. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what? You know, Carlito, tell us a little bit about, you know, a lot of people who tune in, they they, they from Chicago. So yeah. to everybody who do from Cali and Florida and Boston and New York and Lo Puerto Ricano, ya tu sabe. But <laughs> since I am from the hood. Hypno, give the Chicago people a little history of your child. Well, from the teenager, right? Yeah. Did, you, did you used to do some bowling and what high schools and shit you went to? I used to hoop and shit. Uh, Western House. Western House. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's a no. Western House over there. That's a hoop. I used to hoop his ass. Yeah. <laughs> so, he, when I first met him, he lied to me. 
Told me he played for Michael Jordan basketball camp. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ball these man right up. I'm like, shit, I probably would have loved Michael Jordan basketball camp too. How about, uh, how about, didn't you go to, did, did you go to Kelvin too? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Kelvin Park? Yeah. Kelvin Park, okay. I'm a legend in Kelvin Park. <laughs> I'm a legend in Kelvin Park. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know what, I'm a, I'm a real quick, man. If, no, uh, any shout outs real quick. We ain't going nowhere, but send some shout outs, man. If, you know what, If mm -hmm. I, I can sit here and kind of right now, like think of my career right now, and like people that kind of, you know, help me grow as, a, as an artist and stuff. Yeah. You got some shout outs man, that, 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 you, that you do want to send out tonight to anybody, bro? Shit. Shout out to Game. Shout out to my nigga Stax, Coco. I love her. Motherfucking shout out Logan. Oh, buddy. Um, I miss a couple more folks. Scotty, Don B, Moose. A whole bunch of motherfuckers. Love y'all niggas. Y'all know what Hypno, uh, this 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 uh next project, uh, you performing it over? Yeah, yeah right. It's called yeah. Karma. So you, you gonna are we gonna listen to? It? I gotta ask. You gonna perform some of the I'm joints? I'm gonna see. You gonna see. You'll have to come on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm gonna take care of my lady. Better live in my own. Give me a favor. Uh, hit no, uh, this, uh, this, uh, jealousy joint. Uh, introduce that for me. We're gonna take a little quick break, man. We're gonna come right back. Hey, look, everybody, tune in with them. Oh, shit. I'm going to have you back, baby. I see, I see the adrenaline. I see the adrenaline. I see the adrenaline. Hey, look, make some noise, y'all, for baddies of the week, man. Make some noise for the baddies of the week. My baddies is up in here. They're getting it down today. Make some noise for Hypno Carlito in this motherfucker. So, man, y'all was over there. Y'all, y'all violating my super bowl. <laughs> it's all right. My stripper pole love y'all. Jenna, I'm not a, 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 I'm not
Thor? Yeah. Okay. John Laughs, shout out. Uh, Scott. Scott. Booking is Scott, right? Scott Summers. Yeah. Uh, your booking agent? Yeah. Salute to Scott. Everybody make some noise for Scott. Yeah. Scott, I can watch this Scott. You know what? It's funny, man, because. I smile about certain shit because I know certain shit, you know? Yeah. And I can smile about shit because I know how to keep my mouth shut. I did 20 years, so I know how to have that little devious little smirks, man. You know? <laughs> no, but I'm just talking shit. But Scott, I've been knowing Scott, man, since uh, Hypno put him uh, on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, cool, wa coolest white dude on the planet right now. You feel oh, what I'm saying? He, get, he, you know, he getting grind, he, you know, he grinding. Uh, great face, man. Great person to work with. You want anything to do with a verse. An appearance, a walkthrough, uh, kids uh, talked to by Hypno Carlito. Uh, what's the email, Hypno? Uh, shit, I don't know. The booking email. Hey. Scott. You, uh, just hit, I mean, you got an email for your booking, right? For Scott? Uh, yeah. Scott, Scott do that. Scott do that? Okay. Scott Summers on Facebook, man. Scott Summers, up. Hypno He's Carlito, right. IG, and I'm sure you guys. <laughs> Scott Summers, like, yes, Scott <laughs> Summers. If, if not, go to IG, man. I'm sure him no guy's booking on his IG, man. Uh, there's somewhere in the email that he just can't remember right now. <laughs> uh, Hypno, uh, what else we got going on, man, uh, this year? Uh, are you dropping anything soon for us, or uh, do we need to wait? Uh, other than the good, we got videos coming with it. Oh, uh, yeah, New Chicago, New Chicago, yeah. baby. That's supposed to drop. Damn, Friday, I think it's gonna drop next week. Next week, okay. Uh, everybody, right now, I need everybody. Uh, go right now, everybody, follow on Pop or uh, Pop Radio. Go right now, follow Hypno Carlito on social media platforms. Uh, go follow Dog Food, Dog Food Visuals, another cool white boy of the planet. You hear what I'm saying? Uh, man, raw, raw as hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he did that project, he did uh. Which one? Uh, I get the new ones of Lately and Halo and all them confused. Which one's got a dog food shoot? Dog food shoot like four of them, four or five of them. But yeah, man, he, he got sauce. Make sure you, uh, that's who's uh, dropping the new Chicago, or he did that. Mm -hmm. So salute to him. Yeah. Song is dope. I got a chance to hear it. Uh, sauce video is amazing, man. Hypno got one. I ain't even gonna lie. Hypno got one. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers gonna hate you, Hypno. <laughs> If no, if no, did a, a dope song. It's called New Chicago. You want to describe it or anything? You want to talk about the New Chicago song? Shit, the New Chicago coming soon. Coming soon, huh? Okay. Hey, yeah. Uh, if no, uh, yeah. Anything else you want to let us know, man? If no, about what's coming up, what's on your mind? I know you've been working mm -hmm. hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that's all I've been on, man. Good karma, bro. That's and I know you be trying to spend positive messages too, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Why don't we do that real quick? Let's say we at street level, right? We just walk in and shit. High and not high, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a kid that would just walk up and he like, damn, they're going to hit no Carlito. They're going to pop. Fuck. You know, it's my day. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he walk up and he ain't never recorded a song, Hypno. He, but he want to record a song. He want to be like shit. He want to be like gang. He want to be like Hypno, <laughs> he want to do shows, he want to, uh, damn, man, I hate this shit. But, uh, and he asks you, hey, Hypno, what's the first thing I do, man, to get into this music stuff? What's the message you got to, for him or any kid that wants to be a, a rock star, wants to be a rap star, wants to be a star, bro? Yeah. I mean, everybody formula different, you know what I'm saying? So, it's different strokes for different folks, but... You just gotta stay consistent, you know what I'm saying? Just like what I was talking about earlier, when I was like, man, everything gotta be of standard. Where motherfuckers looking at that shit like it's major already. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I do it at least. And it works, yeah. It so, do. Y'all you know, you know, gotta look up him. They don't got millions on this, millions on that, millions mm -hmm. on this, millions on, the, on his numbers. <laughs> uh, he's been consistent. Uh, yeah, but man, you know what? I, you know, I get credit for it. I, I, I get credit where credit is due, and I give even credit to where sometimes I at least see the effort, bro. You know what I'm saying? I see you trying. I'm still going to give you credit, you know? But uh, Hypno been one of my mentors, bro. I know Pop probably, you know, everybody, I, I'm older than Hypno, but I was gone for a long time. I was gone 20 years in the joint. You know, I only been doing uh, music two years. You know what I'm saying? I was, uh, I came out of the joint where what helped me in the industry was that I could do poetry. You know, like that street greedy type poetry type shit. So I got involved uh, with 
rappers and music by doing collaborate, you know, putting poetry on music. And me and Hypno did a project and I was lucky uh, to meet like a Hypno early in the game of my first getting in my career before I started making music because Hypno and, and some other art friends that I fuck with that are, you know, legends, you know what I'm saying, in the game, taught me a lot, you know what I'm saying, from don't be local, nigga, don't just pop out everywhere where they seen your face all the time, because then you just a local nigga. Uh, he taught me that if I wanted to be a star, <laughs> oh, trust me, I had the conversations of my life with this nigga, you know? and he'll call me, you know, Hypno was like a... I hate to say it, bro, but it, it, it hit no help. Manage some things in my career mentally because there's some people that some artists in the game that you can't manage these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just they're they, they they just maybe need some molding. You know what I'm saying? Because they're stubborn or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? So it was a blessing for me and uh, hit no that relationship we had because he um, manipulated a lot of my moves before I made them. You know, he still does that to this. Uh, 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 I, I salute him, man, because I've made it a long way uh, than the average local rapper in two years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so, you know, I appreciate you, Hypno, for being in my life as a mentor, you know what I'm saying, as bro, but as a mentor, give me experience and knowledge that you've taught me uh, on the love too, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. in this industry, bro, it's a fuck game. You know, let's keep it real. Right. This I industry know. is a fuck. Uh, is a yeah, it's a fuck game. Everybody mm -hmm. want a billion dollars for this. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna give you a billion dollars worth of work. Mm -hmm. uh, you do a feature with a motherfucker nowadays. He want the money, but he ain't gonna even share the shit or acknowledge. He even did the shit with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's just part of the business nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And again. I was in the cage for 20 years. I came out to wanting to eat rappers and promoters and shit because they was trying to finesse me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't understand. Uh, I was green, you know, so uh, salute to Hypno, salute to for d -Lo, uh Koa, uh, Raw. I learned some shit from Twisters, uh, Raw, uh, yeah, his manager. Uh, my guy Gio, he used to manage Katie Got Bands, and his Italian dude, I learned a lot of business stuff from him. Cuban Link, then, uh, you know, taught me stuff. I learned, uh, you know, you learn the good and the bad in this stuff, and you mold yourself, and, you know, earlier, you know, I put, I'm leveling up. I, I level up, I don't switch up. And that's, you know, just, even if you get your heart, you know, your feelings hurt in this shit, man, uh, don't switch up on people. Just take the lesson learned, keep professional, keep moving, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you know, you've worked with uh, a lot of these youngsters, bro, in the city of Chicago, man. Uh, how does that feel like to be able to, to all they know, shorties, they look, you know, uh, man, if I could just get a first from him, don't call Joe. How does mm -hmm. that feel? You know what I'm saying? It's cool, man. It is, ain't it? It be cool. I got used to that shit, man, so it be like, at first it was real cool, but now it's just like, all right, you just got to pick and choose who you want to fuck with. And he knows a, he one is a genuine artist, you know what I'm saying? Not the extra arrogant. I mean, he can be, but you know, not the extra mm -hmm. arrogant. Uh, how's it feel, bro, to put Carlito, bro, on this project, on the I cover, know. on the cover of the project you getting ready to drop? That made me feel good. He looks sharp. He yeah. looks sharp. Y'all gotta check yeah. out the new project for Good Karma. Oh uh, yeah, man. I'm sorry, Jen. Uh, you wanna ask? Uh, ask, uh, I got one question. Mm -hmm. I see you be doing lots of things. So, what's like the top three on your bucket list that you want to do? Like things that you want to do outside yeah, yeah. of the music. Yeah, some shit. You know, mm. like do you want to travel anywhere? Is there somewhere you want to go? I want to fuck with some animals. With some mm -hmm. animals? Yeah, like some lions. I was just oh, thinking hell about that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, always messing with nature. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So you will get some yeah. exotic animals and get a big yeah, ass like, crib and a castle and some type of shit. I want, I want a lion, but I want, I want a cool lion. Though. I don't want you gotta get it when it's a cub. I don't want them for eat me up. Yeah. Hey, uh, go ahead, dude. Oh, okay. No, I know you a gamer, ain't you? I know you. Did you just get some game shit the other day? I'm, I'm a fake gamer, like fake gamer. <laughs> if anybody, you buy the games, but you just don't play them. Yeah, you play them no, like once or twice. If anybody want to play uh, <laughs> a game, want to be a game, uh, what you do? The Xbox. Yeah, if anybody want to play Xbox, what's your game? Call of Duty, then. Or which yeah. ones are the ones you like? I fuck with Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Grand Theft Auto 2K. 
What's your code? Anybody want to play Hypno Carlito? Big Hypno Carlito. Man. Big Hypno Carlito, y'all. Welcome to the game. We're getting it up if you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play this. I'm going to look you a Grand Theft Auto. I'll be killing on that. Oh, God. Uh, you're back in Chicago now. Uh, you ain't been here long. Uh, after this concert, uh, what's your what, what's your next move? What you else you working on? I know you be working on stuff. You could share something with us. I'm doing a. Uh, me and Nick Cannon got like a short film. You see me right now. So I just got the script. So I got to learn that motherfucker. You know, you know, that's big. Man. That's 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 Anything else? You got some personal shit that hurt you? Or were you ever uh, working on a document documentary or your own stuff? Ain't you, yeah, uh, I just I keep saving shit. Saving just keep shit. saving. Yeah. Okay, okay. And what else we got coming up? Uh, shit, this year almost over. What you planning to kick off the next year with? If no, uh, you got your label. Are you focusing on uh, signing any new artists? Um, focusing on. You know, any projects that any of these guys that you got now dropping? With anybody you got to look for, get ready to come up. Coca, yeah. what's yeah, Coca? Coca? Coca got some shit dropping. Lovell got some shit dropping. Stats got some shit dropping. Don, uh, John Lamb, I just got him like on a lot of things. Some of that fucking shit. So we just, we just working right now. Everybody okay. just getting in order. Dope, dope. Um, Everybody, again, man, go check out Hypno Cardito December 1st, live at the Forge, all yeah, ages, man. I need everybody to come turn up. I'm going to yeah. be there. Hypno Cardito blessed Pop Radio. We salute you for that, Hypno. Hypno Cardito blessed us mm -hmm. to do, Jen, we're doing the celebrity Whatever guest inter interview. interviews. Mm -hmm. um, nice. <clears throat> so we're going to get you some content from Pop Radio. Courtesy of Hypno Carlito from Shana, from Twister, from Little Say Osama, and Do or Die. If I miss somebody, no, I don't think I missed them. Four, four, four. Four, oh yeah, my, my bad. And four, let's make some noise, yeah. man. December 1st, December 1st, y'all. Tickets are on sale right now. Proceeds of this concert is going back to the community of Chicago. We're feeding back the homeless, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you know, it's not a lot of artists, man, that give back. You know what I'm saying? And Hypno's independent, y'all. He ain't with no label right now. He on his own doing everything he's dropping, all these quality of videos of... of uh, the stuff this has come out of yeah, our that's pocket, blessings man. to you for real. Thank you. It's a really good thing you're doing here for community, for the people. That's awesome. Really dope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <I'm feeling laughs> <it. laughs> Not yet. Okay. Not done. We're here, man. You know what I'm saying? Did you want to get over there? You want to dance on him though? Or no, I don't want to play shit. You cool right now, you cool right now, you cool. Boy, she'll corner you at Ocean right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 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 Hey, the only shout outs, man, you want to send tonight, man, to anybody. Or, or, uh, we sent them out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody, out. man, stay in tune. Hypno Carlito, we got the uh, Good Karma drop in 25th. Stay connected to the concert. And uh, we're going to be right back after this music break, man. Pop pop radio, worldwide, our radio, Spotify. People going to be back with Just Topic of the Week. And uh, these uh, little models of the week that is not little, trust me. And it's your boy, Prince of Pain. We are back on Pop Radio. Worldwide, I hope radio. I got baddies for the week, y'all. Who's my first baddie? Send her in. Okay, we got Sapphire in the building. Make sure you for Sapphire, y'all. Who I got next? I think I got dancers up here this Oh, boy. I got Brooke in the building. Brooke is in the building, y'all. 
actually trying to build a portfolio and take professional pictures but I have been taking classes since I was about nine, ten years old. Oh nice, nice. So this isn't nothing new to you so you've already been familiarized with the camera. Yes, very nice. much nice. Everybody tuning in and that can actually see us on our YouTube. She has this blue beautiful hair. Where can they follow <laughs> you at right now, sweetheart? Tell them where they can follow um, you. You can follow me on my Instagram at underscore it's rebel with a Z I T Z R E B E L. All right, who we got next here? Miss Brooke. Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. Brooke, Brooke. I, got, I, brought, I brought Brooke this week. Everybody. Yeah, okay. Brooke. Brooke is uh, one of our lovely baddies of the week, just like our beautiful sister Sapphire. All of these are our baddies of the week. We bring different ladies up here uh, that are dancers, models, or uh, actress. If you were a baddie and you got at us and you said, you know, you got to prove, you was definitely one of our Chicago or Midwest baddies, you know, because everybody ain't from Chicago. So Brooke is... One of my baddies, she's got dancing experience, she got booty shaking she's experience. Uh, shout out to that outfit you're wearing too, bro. Uh, tell the people of uh, Pop Radio uh, Worldwide at IR and Spotify where they can follow you at right now. You can follow me at underscore underscore I am Brooke underscore, with an E, underscore. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Got our next baddie of the week. Who we got here today? Jasmine. My name is Jasmine. 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 Hey, shout out to Jasmine. 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 You work with? Yeah, I work at Ocean Gentleman Club in Bedford Park. Shout out to Ocean. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Jasmine. And what you got next to you, right? There? That's another Ocean product. I think she's an Ocean product, ain't she? Yep, I brought down the game. My What's your name? Is Ocean. Oh my Ocean. God! Her name is Ocean. You hear me? You should see her eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. Everybody tuned in to our YouTube channel. You see us, but she got some dope eyes. God bless her. Uh, beautiful Thank shape you. on you. How long you been dancing, real quick? For about like three months. Oh, you a newbie oh, too. Right? Right? Yeah. You teach her. You teach her right over there. Right 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 Jasmine, yeah. teach her right. Mm -hmm. Tell them where they can follow you at Jasmine right now on social media. You guys can find me on Instagram. My uh, Jasmine page is Jasmine with a Y, uh, cash money with two Y's at the end. Okay. Oh, um, sorry. Ocean, where can they follow you at? Make sure you guys look at like, the camera. Um, I forgot my Instagram, but you got it, Pop. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I will make sure that I tag the I mean they pictures and stuff. So just to stay connected to Pop Radio Worldwide, Facebook and Instagram. I'll tag them all and everything. Next beautiful, 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 Whoa, beautiful, yeah. exotic looking thing. Reggie, what's what's happening? What's cracking? What's up? My name is Reggie. I'll smoke it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Where, where are you from, Reggie? I'm originally from Oakland, California. Okay. Out okay. here. What? Okay. Uh, my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you 
my daddy was from Chicago, so he took my mom and made her move out here. Uh, check, that out. check that out. So, so I do want to make some noise for all the ladies that are our back. <laughs> Are you our, our, you know, pop radio baddies of the week, but you are also our iHeart radio baddies of the week and our Spotify premium baddies of the week. So yeah. make sure you for that. We're going to get some shots tonight by uh, Avon Printing and Photography. Make some noise for Avon Photography. Uh, and we're definitely going to let everybody, man, on iHeart and Spotify know where they can book y'all ladies at. Uh, we have a couple individual questions for you guys real quick uh, along the lines of being a Badass, mama, sita, bonita, ya tu sabes. Huh? You like that, right? I know, right? You heard my new Say joint? You heard, my, you heard my new joint? Let me hear, let me hear. What's that? Let me hear, let me hear. 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 Hey, I'm going to tell all y'all ladies up here something. Don't fuck with me, I'm a poet. You hear me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Scorpio, motherfuckers. But anyway, let's get back to it. Back to life, back to reality. So, listen. Uh... My beautiful Sapphire sister over there. It's Rebel, right? Yeah. How long you been doing my I know you're a model, right? Plus size model at that, right? Very proud of it. No, beautiful. Yes. I think yeah. all beautiful though. Yeah. I, I think yeah. it, don't, it don't matter, you know, she told me a little story. I'm not gonna go public about the story, but I felt bad uh about a story she shared with me and I'm not gonna get public, but you should never discriminate man or person's color, uh how big they is, how little they is, uh if a person is beautiful on the inside and they putting in uh, the effort to be in that, you know, trade, then, you know, it's, it's, it's something for everybody, man. Everybody beautiful. Right. So, you beautiful to me. I did want to be our plus size bad of the week. Uh, tell me some of the photography. No, no doubt. Let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell me about your photography career. Uh, tell me real quick, honey, uh, uh, some of the uh, photographers you work with in Chicago. Um, I've so far I've worked with uh, J. Ron Samoya. He's a 40 Images. Oh, okay. He oh, also cool. does like wedding photography and all that jazz. He's really, he's really, he's, yeah, he's awesome. That's awesome. That's my friend right there, J. Ron. Shout out to J. Ron. You awesome. Um, he's really good at his photography. Shout okay. out to him. For Anybody sure. else that has helped you in your career to get you thus your profile thus to us to get you up here that you do want to send a shout out to? Him. Um, honestly, um, I'm just gonna, I have to, uh, all I have to do is like thank myself and thank the people around me who I'm fortunate enough to have make me feel beautiful because a lot of people out there don't have enough people in their lives to, uh, you know, be able to tell them that they're beautiful and not put them down. So I was like, cause I was I was bullied hardcore when I was a kid, but as I got older, when I hit the the age of seventeen, I said, you know, fuck it, fuck it. this is the body that I have. Yeah. And you know but, how many more people you're gonna inspire with that? Don't worry, but that's just you. Yeah, no, I I always tell people all the time, you know. Others perceive you how you perceive yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if, no you're, if, if you're low key on the low, feeling insecure about yourself, it's gonna sh it's gonna shine through that you're insecure. Mm -hmm. And you just have to realize that everyone deserves to feel beautiful. Yeah, well, everyone. Everyone. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do me a favor, Mama. Yeah, thank you for that. This is like everybody does. Deserve to feel good, beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I'm happy that I, I can, I like, I exude my my confidence and my sex appeal, and it rubs off on people and it shows other time. I'm forward. Do me a favor, Mama. Uh, young lady, right? Uh, young girl, because we all about empowerment, uh, education, culture, and awareness mm -hmm. up here. Little young lady uh, that feels too thick, that um, doesn't feel beautiful, but she knows she's beautiful. But some people are making her feel. Uh, not beautiful. Could you give her a couple of encouraging words on how to even get started with this and how she should feel, uh, regardless of what other people are telling her? Like, no, you know? Because um, you've been told no before, right? For sure, uh, once or twice or in your life to that you couldn't do this or you couldn't do that, right? No, yeah, no, definitely. Okay. Um, I, would, I would tell any little girl or, or boy out there who feels... Like they can't do anything just do what makes you happy 
do what makes you happy, whether anyone likes it or not, as long as you're happy, you know? Um, as far as being different, to take those differences and put it into a positive, you know? As long as it's constructive. Yeah. <laughs> you know, makes, the, do what you makes do makes you happy. happy. What I, you know what? That's what I try to use our platform up here, just to spread some positivity, good vibes out to everybody, and uh, be an example, man. Because if you ain't big brother, sometimes ain't no. It's a lot of you know people just leading the blind out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I try at least try to give a good message and give kids that do rock with us a good direction instead of a back direction. You know what I'm saying? So I do want to make some noise for. Her. You gave out some shout outs. Brooke, you want to give out any shout outs tonight to anybody uh, out there? Mm, yeah, so I want to shout baby. out my homegirl, um, her blog page. Uh, we go around Chicago and stuff like that, and it's so fun. And it's B blog, B L O G underscore Bob, B A B. Dope. Yeah. Um, tell everybody again right now where to go follow you, what kind of bookings you are today. Oh, yes, this is with the juice. She make plates and all that is fine. And you can follow me under underscore underscore I am Brooke. And also, that's really beautiful what you said. Because I, me personally, I have alopecia. And that's how I got into dancing. So I lost my hair like really young. So as a result, my shell had to get built really young. And that was one of the things that helped me break out of that. Yeah. And when I was good at it and it built my personality on top of that, I'm just like, damn. Then the money started coming in and, you know, we got the rest. But now I got my crib and shit, so I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm definitely not. But I am coming out of retirement, so Don't you got, Mama, don't you got real quick, I'm running out of time, but don't you got a business? You flourishing soon? Yeah, actually, I will be, um, I don't want to jinx anything, but I'll be popping out with um, something uh, that I have discovered throughout my travels. I um, traveled for seven years studying weed, so I am going to infuse what I love and weed. Follow my girl, man. She got some things coming up. I am Brooke. Oh, and glasses and lashes coming this spring. Hey. Lashes always stay on point. Lash, uh, glasses plus <laughs> <hustle bay. laughs> Right here. Jasmine. 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 Uh, new girls coming in this dancing stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, little advice for them. You know, just, just first night, Ocean yeah. Nightclub. She's 18. Uh, and she's never done this. Uh, give her a little bit of advice before no. she just jumps straight up in and be in. Uh, the first advice definitely is never sell yourself out short. You always got to hustle because you got to bring what, you know, we're all there for the same reason. We all want the money. Doesn't mean you got to hustle somebody out, but you know, you can think smarter and think outside of the box on how to make more money without having to do anything extra or sell yourself short and put that reputation on yourself. If you respect yourself, people are going to respect you. Mm -hmm. She a little boss, right? man. She, yesterday she was on uh, It's an Amazing Life We Live, another one of my radio shows, hosted by the beautiful Anna Maria, um, Anna Marie Tabo. You guys gotta go check that out. I dropped everything. I know beautiful she is in the building. I didn't know she wanted to hide or not. Yeah. But she's here. You know, I was make, eating a sandwich. So. <laughs> <laughs> make sure I dropped I dropped everything on iHeart today. It's on iHeart Radio, it's on YouTube, it's on Spotify Premium. Go check out It's an Amazing it's Life an We amazing Live. Life. Make some noise for her. So yesterday, Jasmine was on It's an Amazing Life We Live as one of our entrepreneurs of the week. So what business were you talking about or any tips? Um, I'm going to start out modeling. You know? Modeling. Okay. So uh, advice real quick for the girl that just came in, Olsen's first night. What you got for her? I just told you. What was it again? Like, never sell yourself out. Hey, well, no, something, <laughs> something else. Give me something okay, else. Okay. Give me something um, else. Okay. Give me something um, else. I mean... And dancing is not for everyone and I've seen many girls come in and out those doors and like different types of girls um, you gotta be very alive in this you can't hold yourself back you can't be that's scared it doesn't right. matter that's right. yeah. 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 it doesn't yeah confidence like everyone that I walk up to like for the most part you know unless it's a little intimidating like you on your birthday I don't wanna hear that you did not act like that last week like I was there with Brooke or somebody you heard it I'm not even I'm not I'm not even hitting no Carlito man just pop he, he vanishes, his voice oh goes, it drops, it drops, 
so I'm then, saying, like, we're going to skip that part. So, I'm going to edit that. So, um, <laughs> well, you're just the start of the show, you know? Like, you had balloons. Like, you know, like, I was like, damn, this is yeah, the real deal. Like, you know, uh, salute, so to, salute to you and all of you know, a salute to you and all the beautiful oh, girls. Really? I thought I was the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the shit. So, uh, shout outs. To um, me. shout out to my best friend Tori. Shout out to my girl Ocean. Ooh. Shout out to my girl Athena. Shout out to my daughter, my mom, family. Shout wow. out to Ocean's Gentleman Club. Shout hey. out to Spotify. Yeah. 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 Shout out to my people. You guys look out for Jasmine. I think I'm a. Uh, you know, I might not have her here all the time, but she's going to be doing some uh, sales rep stuff. So follow her. You're trying to get your music on. Y'all know I'll be busy. Yes. Jen, um, Red, Janelle, uh, uh, Will Cologne. That's booking. I just do the work. You know, that's that's you. I like the booking. So get at these yes. girls. Ocean. Yes, you know, <laughs> you know in this, but you got the, you know, you, you're working. You got the look, whatnot. I do want to wish you a lot of success in this. Thank and, you. And, uh... Uh, success in anything you're doing. Um, where can they book you at? Uh, you're doing modeling, right? Little yeah. video shoots and stuff like that? It's on my Instagram. Instagram, and I will yeah. post your Instagram and stuff later, guys. It's, right now, all I know is Ocean. I know I got it somewhere on my page <laughs> know, tagged up. But uh, we'll get to it. Uh, any <laughs> shout-outs you want to send tonight, Ocean? Um, yeah, shout-out to my girl, Jasmine, Pop Radio, and my baby at home. Okay. Uh, dope. Uh, let's make some noise for Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Ocean, 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 Reggie. What's up? The exotic stuff. Come on. You don't smoke it, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. What was she it? said she not the Reggie. Oh, right, right. Don't get it right. twisted. Okay. Okay. I, smoke. I smoke that dough. Okay. Okay. Baby, how long have you been modeling, honey? Um, I'm going on three years. Three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Com. Also, I make margaritas if you got parties. Oh, I do Reggie's margaritas. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. And she can dance, you hear me? Yeah. And, and uh, the margarita makes uh, You remind me of uh, Coyote Ugly dancing up on the road. Oh my god. Yeah, I love it. I'm uh, with you. Me yeah, I know. You want to ask any of them anything, Anja? So, do you guys have any future plans, as in for like the new year? With anything, as in modeling or the dancing? Maybe you want to do something else? Any plans for that? I mean, you can go around and ask. It could be a group question. Or no, we don't. We have limited time. Uh, one has to do a the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can ask him. Uh, no, do you have I did ask. Okay. Him. I just well, did. I did. Somebody asked. Ask, I mean, ask him right. no, I mean, I do want to. Oh, oh. 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 We'll take that out. I do. Ask him the right you should question. Can you cut that out? Ask him the right question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Rebel. Though I, I do want to start traveling and start taking pictures outside yeah. of Chicago. So um, it's right now. I'm just focusing on saving up because I work nights, so I'm, I sleep all day. I work at security at Hydra Nightclub for any of my LGBT. BTQ lovers out there. Yes. Yes. And it's a really fun job. We're open we're open till four in the morning every day. Saturdays we're open till five. So I'm I'm constantly working late nights and that like um but in the new year in twenty twenty March we're actually gonna be hosting a festival for like a whole week out in Puerto Valerete. In Mexico. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're going to be hosting a Let's festival. It's going to be like all like that nonstop party. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so. Anybody Same else? Travels. Same question? Yeah. Anybody else got any future plans? How about you, Reggie? I want to get. Oh, look, look, look. Okay. You see me over here. Look. Um, I want to get uh, better into my word or better into my religion, um, just getting a better relationship with God Yeah, uh, one of my New Year's Very important. resolutions, so, that definitely traveling, you know, that hit these streets, that hit these streets, it's a whole new world, world. Yeah, so, it's a whole new world, show your face yeah. out, yeah. so, that definitely uh, networking, those are my two resolutions, Very getting important. Uh, closer to God and networking. Especially for y'all ladies too, that you guys do the dancing, you gotta do that networking. Go out there, share mm-hmm. Facebook, remember your Instagram, oh, yeah. all that good stuff. <laughs> share, share, share. Uh, yeah. That's how you, how you get your fans. Family. That's how you get your support. You get your your shit going good. You know. Mm-hmm. So what's up, pops? You ready to? Um, yeah, no. Jenna has the topic of the week for us. So I was gonna let you okay, ask yeah. him a question and go on to I got my topic of the week. All right. Okay. So let's make some noise, y'all. But I'm gonna try this week. Yes. Though, we're gonna, uh, Uh, All right, so my topic of the week, which I'm going to be getting it off of a Facebook page, um, is support your local businesses out here in Chicago. Um, Thanks, shout out to Chicago Puerto Ricans for giving me permission to share this post with you guys. And it goes like this, so the backbone of any community is the local small businesses. Humble Park in the past has had strong business presence. So many Puerto Rican-owned establishments Grocery stores, a variety of good restaurants, those live entertainments, people to enjoy their night out. Now, if you see, I don't know if you guys have gone through Humble Park, it's changed a little bit. There's a lot of clinics now, there's a lot of other organizations um, that are taking over um, the storefronts. A lot of pop mom places that are not now closing, that have been open for 20, 30, 40 years, are now shutting down. Why? Because people are not supporting our local businesses. They would rather go online, you know, and buy things online or go to their major stores, Walmart, Target. But you gotta support your local businesses. Without that, we're gonna lose what we're trying to strive here in our community. It's very important. Um, let me continue reading what, what else is on here. Where's the, uh, where's the article from? So it's from Chicago Puerto Ricans on Facebook. Shout out, shout to, out to them. Yeah, I did shout them out. You know, it's, it's, it's very important that we try to be unified as a community, Hispanics, African Americans, all of us. We have to get together and, and, and keep these businesses open because if not, we're going to lose heritage, we're going to lose a lot of things. And then what are we going to be left with? Clinics, AIDS clinics, we don't, what's going to come out of that? Nothing good, right? Mm-hmm. Nothing good at all. So yeah, that's you know I wanna I wanna just shut that down with with just support our local businesses. There's, for instance, this one in Humble Park, Lily's Record Shop. It was open in 1983. Okay. 1983. Yeah. They're going through some stuff right now, and and gotta go in and support them. They have really good music, really good tapes, really good CDs, 
lots of good stuff in there. Go check them out. That's one of the main businesses that I wanted to share. And yeah, that's what I have with supporting our local businesses out here, especially Humble Park. Okay. All right, make some uh, yeah, I support my own. I actually supported Tito and Lady for years. Uh, so yeah, support your own, whether it's six for thirty, eight to seven for support yes. Puerto Rican people, support your uh, your brothers and sisters of the Creole family and all that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you supposed to support your, you know, support your own man, uh, especially if you from a community, the only way to build a, a village is by helping the village and giving back to the village giving and all that stuff. Village, give back. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the shows here at Pop Radio today. Yeah. Sorry about the little technicals. I'm having all technicals <laughs> going on over here. So uh, salute to uh, me when I can do the technicals the right way. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Salute to Red holding down the camera today. The salute to uh, Dwight. That was the Ian Middle Road snapping pictures. Uh, make some noise just for yourselves. We're coming out here today. Yeah. Your boy Prince of Pain, man. It's been another week of uh, Wreck It Wednesdays. Uh, yes. Hypno Carlito, come back here by another six, seven, eight, nine months. Bless y'all. <laughs> uh, for right now, though, is lit at the Fords, December 1st. Good karma. Good karma. Uh, all ages, baby. You know what I'm saying? Major had a uh, uh, celebrity guest. You got celebrity pop up in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little celebrity. We'll be doing the interview. You know? So, uh, God bless everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Like a bang, press pop a penny, thicker than a slicker, I can be a steady, 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 I